Looking for a great center channel speaker to install for your home theater system? I highly recommend the Polk Audio 255C-RT. Now I've installed several of these center channel speakers and they are by far the best bang for the buck. By that I mean they run around $179 to $199 on Amazon depending on when you catch them. Now this is April of 2023, these are current prices. You know, two, three years ago, they were right around $149. But average is about $199. You can catch it on sale for $179. Now, if you want a better center channel speaker, you're looking at $399 or better. So I'm not saying that this is the best there is. I'm saying the best for the money. You're going to have to spend double that money to get something that is better. So in this video, I'm going to be replacing this center channel speaker here with the new Polk Audio. So if you need a kind of instructions to install, I'm going to go through a couple tips while I switch these out. Now this is a much larger center channel speaker, so I am going to have to cut the hole bigger. Now let's say you're starting a fresh install. I highly recommend you cut out like a circle about big enough for your hand to fit in. And why I like to do that, because I like to get my hand inside behind the wall, reach up back in there and make sure there's no obstructions. If you go ahead and just cut this full uh, hole out for the speaker, there could be something behind there and you're gonna to have to do some drywall patchwork. So cut a small, about five inch diameter hole, get your hand inside the drywall and feel around, make sure there's nothing back there. Another cool tip I can give you is one of these stud finders. One to find the studs and also this one senses AC wire. Last thing you want to do is cut a hole in that wall and slice through an AC wire. This stud finder will tell you if there's one back there. I'll put a link in the description for all the stuff I'm using. You're also going to want a good level because you're going to hold your template up there. Make sure it's level with something like this or you're going to have to use a tape measure and tape from maybe the floor up to the template or from the ceiling down to it. But a level makes that a little bit quicker. You're also going to want a drywall saw. Now this is going to cut your drywall nice and smooth. Uh, it's real easy to use. I don't recommend really using power tools just because there could be stuff behind the wall that you might slice right through. And actually if you use one of these and you come up to an AC wire, you'll feel tension on here and you can back off before anything happens. But cut that small hole first and feel behind there with your hand. Let's get this pulled out and started. I'm going to show you this center channel speaker before I take it out. The reason it's being replaced, uh, it just doesn't sound very good at all. Now there's going to be four Phillips screws right here. There's actually like little toggles back there. As you loosen these up, the toggles will be loose and I'll be able to pull this straight out. Hole right there so that I can reach behind there. Like I said, it's a little bit bigger than five inches, but I have a hole there. I can reach behind on all four directions and make sure there's no wires or no issues with installing this. Now here is the cardboard template you're going to use. You're going to put this on the wall, trace around it, and then we're going to cut it out with the drywall saw. Now if you do have some type of um, issue with something behind the wall, you could put the template up there and then feel if this template is going to match up with your obstruction or not. And then you could shift this side to side or up to down to kind of move it and get it a little bit out of position so you could clear whatever it might be in that wall. Now let's say you need to shift it over for some reason. You can always shift over your TV to kind of recenter over the speaker. So at this point, you just want to make sure there's nothing behind the walls that as you cut, you're not going to damage anything. Now what you want to do is put your template right where you want to cut. You can put a level right on top of your template. Get your template level. And now trace around here with a black Sharpie. So at this point, it should look something like that. If you do have an obstruction, like I have a board right back here, and I'm going to come real close to cutting that board. So I shifted the template up about a quarter of an inch. You can see my double line. I'm not too worried about uh, getting any Sharpie around here because the grill cover is going to go away on the outside of this. So I shifted the whole template up to miss this piece of wood back here. I just want to show you up close what a drywall saw looks like. It's got this real sharp point and that's going to allow you just to tap the end of it and it's going to go right into the drywall. Now I like to use a sharpie because it gives a little bit thicker line 
and I cut right on the center of the Sharpie. So you take your drywall saw, get it lined up like that, and you're just going to tap the end of it, and it's going to go right in. Just like that. And now you're just going to saw back and forth. Don't shove the saw all the way in. You only need to go in about a half to five eighths of an inch just to get behind the drywall. So I'm going to go ahead and cut across here. And then I don't round the corners, but once I get to the end, I'll turn it, tap it in again, and go up and work my way around. have the cutout for the speaker to fit into. If you want you can kind of vacuum up your drywall dust, clean this up a little bit. If you just run your thumb across the drywall there you're just going to kind of flatten out the edge. The paper might peel up just a little bit. Just kind of push it back down around the edges so nothing interferes. Now we're ready to install the speaker and these are the little toggles I was telling you about. You want to make sure that these are all inside you don't want one of these flipped up or flipped out. They need to be inside the speaker frame all the way around. You need to connect your speaker wires before you install it. I've seen several guys just put their speaker in and by the time they tightened the last screw, they went, uh-oh, forgot to attach my speaker wire. So you're gonna hold it up if you need to, grab another person, and we're going to connect your positive and negative speaker wire right here, and then install the speaker. Push in on the speaker, and then you're going to want to tighten the, all those toggle legs. Don't go too tight or you will crack it. You just want to go tight enough where you feel it start to get snug. Go ahead and do that to all six. Now you do have to turn this screw a lot of times. There's a long length of that screw that needs to come up and pinch the drywall. And you'll feel it just start to get tight. You don't have to go any more than that. It's time to put on the grill. Now the Polk Audio Emblem is going to be at the bottom. And this is a magnetic grill. So it is just going to stick right to it. But if you see the gap right here, you just need to slide it around a little bit. And it's going to fit right into place and there'll be no gaps along the wall. We just need to clean up that drywall mess we made. Now before you go vacuuming drywall dust, drywall dust is super super fine. The normal average household vacuum cleaner will not filter it. It's going to blow right out of the vacuum cleaner. I like using a shop vac with a drywall dust bag. It's going to filter it really fine it's not going to blow any of that drywall dust back out into the room. If you grab your household vacuum cleaner, unless it has like a HEPA filter in it, uh, you'll be okay if it has a HEPA filter. But if it doesn't, it's just going to have that drywall dust blowing right out of your vacuum. So you need something to filter very fine dust. We'll get that drywall dust sucked up. Go ahead and connect all your equipment. We're almost home free. Let's turn it on, make sure we got sound. Let's go ahead and throw a movie in and make sure that you have sound coming out of that yeah, center channel speaker. When you follow along step by step, your speaker is probably working. Now congratulate yourself on a job well done. You did it all on your own, saved yourself a lot of time and money by not having to hire anyone to put any speakers in for you. Sit back, relax, enjoy your movies, and enjoy this center channel speaker. Like I said earlier, it's the best bang for the buck. You can't get a better center channel speaker for the money. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.